hello YouTube and welcome to another ESXi tutorial so in this video I'm going to show you how to backup and restore ESXi host configuration so are you ready let's get started so first of all why you need actually to backup your ESXi host configuration so actually the config is uh, useful in case like you are uh, ESXi has crashed or your system boot disk failed and you want to restore instantly your config okay so this config actually concern configuration files okay like for example the config of uh, virtual switches okay and also shared storages like uh, data stores configurations multipaths local users and groups and also licensing information so all these things need to be actually backed up in order to restore them in order of system failure okay so let's get started so first thing in order to save the configuration you must have access to the ssh actually on your server okay so first of all let me log on to my uh, ESXi host so I will log on using my root credentials and I will verify that actually SSH is enabled so normally you go to the action here and services and you have to make sure that SSH is enabled so in my case it is so I will just have to actually connect to my host here using any SSH client like PuTTY or something like that okay so let me go to my terminal here and I will connect to the host here we go I'll provide credentials so I am in okay so you must actually know that uh, the config of your ESXi host is actually saved every hour so you have to synchronize it in order to get the latest uh, actually saved config so in order to do that there is a command that will sync this thing and this command is so I will paste it here so you must execute first this command I will hit OK so now I'm sure that I will have the latest saved configuration okay then we can launch another command in order to backup actually the config so the next command is this in order to backup the config so I will hit here enter and normally you can see now that I get an URL that you must actually run into your browser in order to get this config file so I will copy this uh, whole path okay to my browser and I will try to download actually the file here so I will launch my browser here I will paste okay and you have actually to replace this asterisk with the IP address of your ESXi host so in my case it's this is the IP address of my host and here we go you can see that a file a compressed file because it has a termination of TGZ that has been downloaded okay so what we're gonna do actually is try to open this file here and see what is inside okay so in order to open this file I must actually use another uh, another client like uh, win is copy in order to copy to my host okay so let's do that So here I'll be using win is copy and I have actually to log on to my host 
uh, I will add here we go so on the right side actually there is uh, the whole path to my EXXI so I will go here for example to uh, a temp directory which is empty I will, I will just here paste the config file that I have downloaded from my browser so this is the one here so I will copy it to actually my host okay so let's rename it for example uh, just config bundle that local that ggz okay so remember we have put it in the temp directory okay so let's go back to our host using our uh, client ssh client and try to unzip this file here or to decompress it to see what is inside okay so let me open my terminal here so here let me print the working directory so i am on the root directory so let's go back to the temp and see if the file exists and there is our file okay so we'll be decompressing it using tar x z v f and the name of the file here we go so you can see that i have here actually uh, get some files we have manifest.txt file we have another actually another uh, gz file here jump start and the important one is this one state.tgz actually this file here will contain the whole configuration of our host so let's try to decompress once again this file here state.tgz and we'll be using the same command but this time for another file here we go okay now so now we have two files the first one is local.ggz.ve which is a encrypted file that contains the whole config okay and encryption.info file which has some keys so let's try to decompress and decrypt this file so in order to decompress and encrypt or decrypt actually because it's encrypted we have to decrypt it this file here which contains the whole config so in order to do that we'll be using another command okay so the command is this So you can see here we will be using a utility that exists in our host that has the name crypto util and a couple of options and of course we have to provide here the encrypted version so let's execute this thing and get this file here we go so if we do an ls you can see that we get another file but this time decrypted which has the name local.ggz so let's decompress it once again using the same command but this time the file is decrypted here we go so you can see the bench of files or actually folders that contains the whole config of our host okay so if you do an ls you can see that some directories have been created so there t, uh, here you can see the etc directory for our host the var directory also okay has been actually saved all inside this encrypted file okay 
So this encrypted file actually contains the whole bunch of directories. The most important one is etc directory, which contains the config files of our system and the var directory also of our host. Actually, you can take a look at those files here, which are decompressed, okay? You can also take a look of these files if you want. You can go to your browser here and normally let me log off of the GUI here but this time instead of just inputting the IP you add slash host okay so here we have to provide some credentials the usual one that you use in order to get the GUI so let's log on and here we go here you can see all the log and config files so you can take a look for example esx.config file here which contains a bunch of information of our host for example let's uh, look for the IP address of our host here it is okay and all those files are actually uh, the one that actually we have backup at. okay so you can take a look of them and also some information of our lessons here okay okay now okay now we have actually finished the first step because we have backed our uh, actually uh, config and the main file here is this one config.local.ggz that we have actually copied so we have in order to restore now the config you have to rename this file to config bundle.ggz so let me do that mv config so I'll just name it config bundle okay dot tgz without this local here okay let's verify that here we go we have now this file so in order to restore now the config it's pretty simple the first thing is that you have to put your host into the maintenance mode using this command here I will show you the command so this is the command to put your host into a maintenance mode here we go okay here we have a timeout so let's execute the command once again here we go I guess now we are in a maintenance mode Okay, we must use this uh, another command in order to restore the config. So here you uh, input this command and space. Then you have here to input the full path to this config bundle.ggz file. So remember we put it in our slash temp directory. So let's input that config. And we hit enter so as you can see now the system is going for a reboot okay and we will wait for the reboot then we will see if something happened okay now so I guess the system has been rebooted so let's uh, open our browser and try to log on and verify the config so this is the IP address of my host so let me log on with my usual credentials here we go so you can see here auto start power on has been completed successfully and we get actually all the config that we had before so here we have our three host machine 
and also the config is the same remained the, sta the same so if you go for example to security you will get all the user that you, you have added okay so you can see now how, how easy it is to backup and restore the host config of your ESXi host so that was just a brief uh, actually video to show you the process using just the command line in order to backup and also restore the host config as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing Bye-bye.